Right. Press conference mm-hmm. style with two, uh, <laughs> two bodyguards on each side. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cammy. thank you so much for joining us today, and uh, let's get this rolling. All righty, Cammy. So, I mean, yeah, first question I want to kind of go with, uh, go to you again, is just uh, this season experience, being a junior, being a T- dubbed an upperclassman now. What's been this season experience like from your perspective? Well, at first off, I lie, I was a little bit nervous to like be at the varsity level because even though I played like two other varsity sports, it's always a different experience like going into that other season, and especially like it's first time on varsity, you still have those like you know nerves. But I'm close with a lot of like the girl, all the seniors, and obviously these two, so it was kind of like very relaxing and. We just have a lot of fun. Multiple sport athlete, what's it like for you to switch between sports and kind of put that mental switch going from, you know, basketball to softball, per se? Well, I like the basketball to softball switch because obviously basketball keeps you in a lot of, like, very good shape. So when I'm coming to softball, I feel ready. I feel like I'm good to go, especially with base running. Like, I love when we practice base running. I practice because I'm like, oh, I'm good at this. Like, I won't get tired. Like, I I just feel excited. (laughs) Talk to me about the base running too. And when you're kind of tagged with uh, stealing a crucial bag, what's that mindset of playing the cat and mouse game when you have to kind of pay attention to what a pitcher's doing in the circle and they have a good catcher on? Yeah, well, right when I get that steal sign, like I check my wristband, I'm like, ooh, I'm going. I have to like, I like really just focus in on the pitcher and, you know, really watch your hand to make sure that I'm not leaving late because if I leave late, then I feel like I'm kind of screwed. But once I go, I'm like going like right before like, I get on base and I'm like watching I'm in my head. I'm like, all right, you just got to run. You just run. Like it's, it's, you know, <laughs> you just got to get there. And obviously everyone always like pokes fun at like my long legs and my stride. <laughs> so I use that to my advantage though, because I know it's like a good quality I have. And right when I get to the base, I do the hook slide. That's my favorite. Cause then they act like they tag you, but you missed it. So I'm like, how you miss me. <laughs> um, I'm going to pick on the spot because I know coach is watching. Um, have you ever not received a steal sign when you really wanted to steal and you've been like, Coach, what are we doing? Yes. <laughs> yes, I have before for sure. Especially if I'm the only like base runner on and there's like no none or one out, and I know the catcher like if doesn't have like a great arm, I'll be like, okay, like why am I not going? <laughs> what is Coach Moots's penalty if you go and you, you you're not given the sign? Like I'm sure there's a punishment. Um, yeah, I don't know specifically, but he kind of will just get on you and like, yeah, he'll kind of just get on you and like, why did you do that? You know? <laughs> <laughs> He's at least giving you some love, calling you an awesome base runner. <laughs> <laughs> he has that trust in you as well. Talk, talk to me a little bit about all these ballparks that you've gotten the chance to play into. I mean, you, you mentioned even going down to, to Florida as well. What's been some of your favorite ballparks outside of Boardman? The easy answer. Uh, what's been some of your favorite ballparks to play in? Um, I don't know about that one. I'm trying to think of like conference, but like, I don't like, the other fields that like are oh. um, <laughs> um, <laughs> she's like she's almost like DJ and how DJ wouldn't drink the the color of Gatorade of his opponents that, that he would play. She's just oh. like no field that's not home field is. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just gave I, mean, I kind of like the fields in Florida because like I feel like the okay first of all there are palm trees like in the outfield and that was sweet and the dirt was kind of like an orange color. And it was like bright, and it just like made me happy to be playing there. You guys go down to Florida. The softball there is so different. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it seemed like every team you were playing had Division One commits like up the wazoo. Yeah. What was it like to be exposed to that level of softball, and and then, and then to come back up here? Not saying it's it's better, but it's a different mm-hmm. form of softball. So what was it like to be exposed to that, and then come back up to this area and play the play the local teams? Well, I feel like it definitely like helped us out, even though we didn't win too many games and. We kind of didn't play super great, but it definitely like built like our like strengths. Like I feel like when we came back here, like we were ready to play and we were ready to win. We knew that like we already faced like the top competition. So we can come back home and pretty much knock the teams out of the water. 
I think one of the biggest things that losses do with teams is it helps kind of build character too, because everyone's frustrated after a loss. So talk to me when you kind of are going through those times or when those times are rough patches are happening in the season, what are you kind of doing to keep yourself on a level head? And what are you kind of doing to keep yourself motivated for the next game, next pitch, next at bat? I know personally, I like, if I get down, if I like make an error, I let it, I like get in my head sometimes too much, but I tell myself it's okay to let it bother you for like just a few seconds. But then like if it was a error in the field, I go back in the dugout, I get ready to hit. I'm like, okay, I need to forget about it because if I keep thinking about it, there's no way I can move on from it. So I just kind of have to think on it for a second, know what I can improve on, then forget it and just continue playing. I'll tell you right now, the views are off the charts. You guys are getting a lot of love from the Boardman community. What's it like to have this community behind you guys and feel the support from Boardman? I mean, it, it just feels awesome. Like, it's like a nice feeling in your heart. And like, I don't want to be like emotional like that, but it really is. And like, you know, I've had a lot of like Spartan spirit ever since I was little, you know, watching like my older brother play and like, just, I don't know, I've always loved like the fan base. You talked about going back. Let's, let's continue on that train a little bit. Where did this uh, love for softball first begin? And when did you find yourself first getting really invested in the sport? Well, I know when I was, really younger I don't have a sharp memory of it but um my dad put like a wiffle ball bat in my hand and just like pitch balls to me and like I don't know I would just hit it but um like throughout the years my love for softball really grew and I think not just because of the sport but because of this people that were around the sport like I love like the whole softball community I have this like vision of Cammy hitting bombs as a toddler <laughs> <laughs> That's what I knew because I hit tanks. Uh, let's get into uh, the, the personality of the Sportman softball team. Obviously, we're getting into it with you three. We can tell you three have a lot of personality. But overall, uh, what's the what's the personality of this dugout like, and and how much fun does this team really get to have? We have a lot of fun, but sometimes everyone gets too hard on themselves, and sometimes we have those moments where we shut each other out and we just are mad at ourselves and we don't want to speak, but. Maddie here, she always has a great <laughs> attitude to always pump everyone up. And once she gets started, then it starts everyone. Then we all start, you know, peaking with our attitudes. And ever since the Parish game in Florida, we've like cheered in the dugout now. And we have just this like crazy energy. And ever since like we've had that experience, we keep using it and it's just making us better. What's the most excited you've ever gotten playing softball? <laughs> Frame the moment for me. Ooh. Okay, I think it was, again, when we were in Florida, I was playing left field and Josie Porter was playing center. And there was this one girl up to bat um, who we were playing against. And an inning before, this girl was, like, talking bad about Josie. And, you know, Josie was getting all mad. And the next <laughs> inning when we were in the field, she hit it. She had a nice hit. It was, like, short to, like, right center. But Josie dove and caught it. And I remember I, I like, jumped up. I started screaming. I was like, yeah, Josie. And I ran over to her, and we started jumping and celebrating. It was really fun. Uh, I love it. Uh, let's get into the rapid fire section of this interview. It's not going to be the exactly the same as Maddie's. So I don't want you to think that I was giving you uh, previews into yours. I'm going to change things up a little bit. Um, I'm going to start with uh, sunrise or sunset for you, Cammie. Sunset. Uh, a night in or a night out? I'd say night in. It's more relaxing. If we were giving you a time machine, would you rather go forward in time or back in time? Hmm. I'd rather go back because I like the anticipation and like seeing what the future holds for me. I wouldn't want to see that. Before. What era would you go back to? Hmm. I don't. Um. Honestly, I feel like I would like fit in the '90s. I said that one time in English class. We had to write an assignment about like if you would like go back in time, what would it be? And I'd say the '90s because like I said the music mostly and like the fashion. Who's one person you'd want to meet from the '90s? I mean, he's still alive now, but because I like his music, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> uh, who's one person alive or dead that you would want to have dinner with? And you can't say Snoop Dogg again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd say Coach Roy Williams from UNC. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, all the Duke fans out there just tuned out. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, what is the go-to fair food at the Canfield Fair for you since it's coming up in a couple of weeks with the with island the noodles? One hundred percent. Right when I get there, that's the first thing I'm going to. The line is normally really long, but it's super fast, and I love watching the cooks like chop up the vegetables really fast. I'm like, how are they not like chopping off their finger? <laughs> What's your hidden talent? Ooh, I'm not sure if this is really like. Well, I guess it is a talent. I'm a great like puzzle person like i can do a puzzle like give me a thousand piece puzzle i'll finish it in a night (laughs) what's that well i'm I'm guessing you've done a lot of puzzles what's the what's the the hardest puzzle you've ever done it was one i did on vacation one time and it was just a bunch of seashells and there were like so many that looked the exact same so they're all the pieces like they were the same color and the same pattern and it was like really hard i had to bring it home i like packaged it in like uh like plastic wrap like all the pieces i had together and then i finished it when i got home you need to invest in one of those the the puzzle rolls that you just roll around and it stays the same um are are you good at the other kind of mind puzzles like crosswords and sudoku and and those kind of things i'm i like word searches i'm good at word searches but i hate like sudoku and all that other stuff. <laughs> um, if we were going to put you on a game show, what game show do you think you'd have the best chance of winning? Ooh. This sounds stupid, but like the price is right because I'm in entrepreneurship class right now <laughs> and we played it before and I was pretty darn good at it. Um, what what do you what, what would be the best prize to win on the price is right? Ooh. Probably a car, honestly. <laughs> Uh, or would you rather be taller than you are right now or shorter than you are right now? I mean, I'm pretty, like, happy with my height because I am pretty tall, but I wouldn't want to be shorter, so I would want to be a little taller because that would help me a little about, you know, with everything. Uh, what is one mythical creature that you wish was real? Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. A mermaid. That's what I mean. uh, if we were going to ask someone to describe you in three words, what words do you think they would use? Hmm. Funny, I hope. Um, smart and sneakerhead. Um, what is the favorite subject for Cam Yoski? English class. I love English class. My grandma was an English teacher and my dad kind of excels at it too. So those traits got passed on to me. And I just love, like, everyone thinks I'm weird for this, but every time we're assigned like a writing assignment or like a poem, I love to do it. Like, I love it. Fred Mood's giving some love to your families as well. So let's talk about the families. Uh, who wins at family game night? It's usually my mom. And what's the go-to like family game on family game night? Like, what's the one that you'll always get out when when you guys got to play? Um, what's it called? It, oh, aggravation! Like the board game with the marbles, and you got to move them and roll the dice. Uh, well, last thing before I let you go. Know, this is the big question. Like. Do you wet your toothbrush before you put toothpaste on it or after? I do both. There you go. Both. Yeah. Perfect yeah. answer. Uh, before we let you go, we do want to give you the chance to thank your support system and the people that are always there for you. Definitely my parents because in my hard times when I'm down on myself, they always find a way to pick me back up and to keep moving forward. And definitely Coach Fred, um, obviously these two, and just everyone who's like – like just the simple like people that gave me like a little bit of support that means a lot to me like the little things mean a lot so pretty much anyone who's out there supporting me all right uh let's do the whole carousel rotation and we'll ask